Europe and India, they have some common uh, sort of uh, ideas and thoughts, uh, particularly protecting the traditional product, unique product. Traditional products are often at a great disadvantage when competing in global markets. Some extreme cases have called for the need for protection. Basmati is the kind of rice with some geographical connotations of high repute in India, but was also a rice that was uh, the subject of an international controversy with some companies in the United States that decided to patent uh, uh, some variations of this rice and this created a big controversy in India because it was felt that these American companies had been stealing something that truly belonged to India. And this is when geographical indications came in. All of a sudden people felt, okay, if we don't want people to take this away from us, we should protect it. And the way to protect it was geographical indications. India is certainly, like the European Union, an area of the world with a long history and a millenary civilization. And this is a prerequisite, if you like, or certainly fertile ground for geographical indications to grow. You need to have tradition, you need to have uh, art, you need to have culinary uh, culture, if you like, for geographical indications to grow. India enacted a specific law for protection of geographical indication rights. And then the first registration started with Darjeeling. And today, the journey continued. We have more than 280 GI registered in India. We are following uh, the policies of the government of India and we are very happy to do so. We are, what we are bringing in is not our policy preferences, but rather our technical expertise. We are there to help India. You are giving unique product. It may be unique in terms of say nutritional value. It may be uh, unique in terms of color, taste, attractiveness. You are giving a good product to the international people, the global citizens. An opportunity for those people who want to keep up with the tradition and maintain these, uh, the cultural roots by doing the same thing that their ancestors did. And for that, of course, you need to create a vehicle that allows these people to communicate with consumers. More than 5,000 years ago, wine was already being made in Egypt and Mesopotamia. And it did not take long to reach the regions bordering the Mediterranean, where wine-related culture has reached its maximum splendor and where it has been a genuine mark of identity for millennia. In recent centuries, it has spread to other regions of the world such as California and Argentina. Is wine grown in India? Many Europeans are surprised to find out that the answer is yes. Wine growing in India started in the early 2000s over the years, production of quality wine has increased and started to get a name for itself around the world. Most of it is concentrated in the district of Nashik and is now protected as a GI under the name of Nashik Valley Wine. Nashik district is situated in the north of the state of Maharashtra on the eastern slopes of the Ghat mountain chain. 
Nasik Palace wine production started in uh, 99-2000. We started uh, with one, one winery and then a lot of farmers came together and they started their own wine business. And till 2010, there was like 30 to 40 wineries were in uh, process. But because of some uh, issues, few wineries was closed. The god Shiva, a cosmic dancer, guides people in times of change. The production of grapes and wine in India undoubtedly represents a change. The growers can trust in Shiva's guidance because there are several temples dedicated to him in the same district. The most outstanding is Trimbakeswar, one of the 12 sacred places dedicated to the cosmic dancer. In the imposing mountains of the Ghats, guardians of the temple, the Godavari, the second longest river in India after the Ganges, begins its journey. Despite originating much nearer to the Arabian Sea, it takes the opposite direction and flows 1,465 kilometers towards the Bay of Bengal on the east of the subcontinent. There is a very important linkage between the GI product and the geographical area. One of the important aspects to grant the GI is the geographical significance. What natural resources available to that place uh, gives an important or leads to the uniqueness to the, that GI product. And the source of water, the river, gives a linkage to the product, to the uniqueness, what, what is available for the grapes as well as available for the wine. And then in 2013, I started uh, the Soma Wine Village, which is a very different model for a farmer. People know how to do the wine business now, and uh, Nasik has become a wine capital of India. Geographical indication for wines of Nasik Valley we got in 2008-9. Just over 20 kilometers from its source, the river Godavari crosses the city of Nashik. This river is one of the seven sacred rivers of India, and here there is an important religious center. The district has a population of more than 6 million inhabitants. Nashik is the capital and is considered to be the wine capital of India. With just over 1 million inhabitants, this modern city buzzes with commercial activity. In the 1950s, dessert grapes started to be grown in India and this district, irrigated by the sacred river, quickly became the most important area of production in the country. Grape consumption has become very popular in India and the fruit can be found in all the most important markets in the country. Nowadays, the farmers of Nashik have transformed this crop into one of the most important sources of income of the area. 
Nearly 70% of the country's total grape exports come from this valley. Despite the increase in grape production, the beginnings of the winemaking industry were difficult and took a long time to gain a solid foundation. India as an orthodox country and the holy place, Nasik, uh, only 1.5 to 2 percent people drinks alcohol and out of that very few people drink wine. And now the per capita consumption is going up. It was the curiosity of the Nashik Valley farmers that first drew them to countries with a winemaking tradition, where they learnt about the processes involved. Back home in the valley, they found fertile ground to take their ideas forward. Uniqueness of Nashik Valley is uh, we have very good climate to grow grapes and wine grapes. And we observed in the last 10, 12 years, and we saw that we can grow very quality grapes of wines in Nasik Valley. And then we approached the ministry and uh, concerned people in 2006, 7 and we got this GI registration. Obtaining geographical indication status has been a major boost to the Nashik wine industry. So we are thinking that people want to drink good stuff, social drink, healthy drink, which is a wine, which, think, which is a good sign of uh, business. And every year we, we observe that 20 percent of consumption is going, sales is going, production is going up and the quality of wine produced in Nasik Valley has gone up to the international standards. People now know Nasik Valley means quality wines. As wine was such a novelty in India, the producers decided it needed promoting. The best way of doing this was to set up guided visits to vineyards. As a result, wine sales were linked to a new source of income, tourism. During the visits, the emphasis is put on drinking responsibly. As they say, if what you're looking for is alcohol, you're in the wrong place. So good afternoon, welcome to Soma Wine Village. Soma Wine Village is located in the wine capital of India, which is Nasik. Uh, Nasik is located along the river, which is the Godavari River that we have flowing. Uh, Soma Wine Village is owned by Mr. Pradeep Pachpatil, who comes from a huge background of farmers which, who have been uh, farming in the valley of Nasik since many, many years. In India, wine tourism is catching up very fast. Now each and every winery should follow this, should duplicate this, and they should have some stay arrangement, some activity, some restaurants. And this trend is taking place very fast. Indians want to go to vineyard, spend their weekend, enjoy with the family, taste different wines, see the vineyard, see the greenery. More and more facilities are being set up to greet visitors and help them enjoy learning about a product that was until very recently unknown in India. The vine is a plant with large leaves and tendrils, which are fastened to the stakes and wires. These help to keep the vines upright. The high Ghat mountains give way to the valley crossed by the river Godavari, with its great plains and gentle hills with altitudes of between 600 and 700 meters. In the valley, the daytime temperature is high, with an average of 26 degrees, 
However, nights are much cooler, with temperatures dipping to 7 to 8 degrees centigrade. These are ideal conditions for growing wine grapes. Microclimate of Nasik is the best climate to grow grapes. We have day, hot days and uh, very cool nights, which gives us a balance, acid and sugar. The soil has good drainage and generally provides the right nutrients and properties for growing wine grapes. The other point which is most important, which is irrigation. Like you know, for everything to grow, water is very essential, water and sunlight. And of course, the most important part, which is love. So in the irrigation format, we use the drip irrigation format, in which only two uh, litres of water is given by the drip irrigation pipes that you can see along the edges to every wine individually. This helps for the wines to grow, flourish and for us to make lovely wines here. In Nashik, the wine growers use different grape varieties imported from places around the world with the longest wine growing traditions. The mixture of grape varieties is one of the requirements to make a good wine. We are working with a lot of uh, universities to study which varieties will grow better in India. But there are now 10 to 12 varieties. They are growing very well. They have accepted the Indian Nasik Valley climate. The other important part that we come to, which is the harvest. In the harvest, the season for harvest in Nasik is basically from January to March. Any grapes that are harvested before January are the ones that have a quality which give you uh, dry wines dry style of wines. During January and March, all the wines that we harvest to make the wines have a fruity and floral uh, structure to them. In India, the most of the work we do manually. We need a lot of manpower. Per acre, we need like two to three people. So in Nasik, we have 4,000 acre vineyard. We have 40 wineries. We have a number of hotels, resorts. One of the main objectives in the implementation of GI is the improvement in the living standards of local communities. People working in winery and vineyard resort, they started speaking English. We have uh, two schools in my next door village. People are learning English. So economy is growing very well and I will be proud to say Nasik Valley and Nasik district is the second richest district in Maharashtra. So finally welcome to the tank hall. The tank hall is where all the magic happens, that's where the wines are made. After the grapes are off the wines from the lovely vineyards that we were at, they come in here. So here we have our tank hall which is about 87,000 litres which is how much we produce every year. The fruit is transferred to processing plants where it is crushed in a pneumatic press. The extracted juice passes through successive cooling tanks until reaching stainless steel tanks where the fermentation begins. Controls take place throughout the process to guarantee the flawless transformation of juice into wine. After that, the liquid is transferred to oak barrels for the malolactic fermentation process. This takes a minimum of six months for red wine. 
The sugar is converted into alcohol and the wine is ready for distillation and filtration. So like I was telling about the red wines that goes into these stainless steel tanks where it is temperature controlled at about 20 degrees where the fermentation process takes place where we need to add the yeast inside this. This is where all the magic happens and where the alcohol starts getting produced. After fermentation is complete, the wine is bottled and labelled. It is then ready for the market. Some producers, like Sula, Soma, York or Renaissance, are big enough to have their own facilities. Others, like Vinsur, are smaller and form associations where farmers share infrastructure and services in order to make their investment more profitable. The Nashik district has 40 wineries in operation, all of them benefiting from the advantages brought by GI. This is similar to what happened decades ago in the wine-growing regions of the EU, such as Bordeaux, Rioja or Trentino. A distinctive brand and logo are essential in obtaining an advantageous market position for a product. The seal of guarantee conferred by GI has to be on the label. All the farmers, they are getting very good benefits of planting wine grapes. This makes farmers very happy. So they know our grapes are going to buy by this winery. They work very hard to make uh, quality grapes. GI status gives undoubted advantages when it comes to product distribution. Nashik Valley wine is starting to be sold on national and international markets. It is also branching out into the ecological market. And we stop spraying the unnecessary pesticides and chemicals. We try to grow wine grapes more like organic. The wine that we are drinking is a product, finally, of the Soma wine village from the beautiful grape capital of India, which is Nasik. So let's do cheers and enjoy our glasses of red wine. Cheers. cheers. So communities development, nations development, and at the same time, you are giving unique product. It may, it, it, it may be unique in terms of say nutritional value, it may be uh, unique in terms of color, taste, attractiveness. You are giving a good product to the international people, the global citizens. So that's the perfect uh, kind of a combination you will find uh, as a benefit to the GI. This is what geographical indications are, you know. This is, is, is an instrument that helps uh, the population, that helps producers, um, provide a guarantee to consumers. Nashik Valley wine has a distinctive taste given to it by the soil, the climate and other characteristics of the region and is becoming well known for its pleasant drinking qualities. Wine is a newly created economic sector in India and has experienced significant growth. Based on its quality and the sustainability of its production methods, this new product has been declared GI, consolidating its market positioning and its growth all of which will undoubtedly contribute to the progress of the local community. India is part, an, an, an important ingredient, if you like, on any strategy to make intellectual property protection more effective on a sustainable basis around the world. Geographical indications represent uh, a meeting point between Europe and India. It is something that we have been working on for a long time. The intellectual property is part of our good relation with the government of India and it is so on a lasting basis. Yeah.